Hey guys, Jeff Plitt here. Let's talk about Donald Trump. Ever heard of him? You have to hand it to him. Trump actually accomplished something this week. The president announced he's brokered a peace deal between Israel and Sudan, which would be very impressive if they'd ever been at war together. Maybe now he can work on that two-state solution between Antifa and the Proud Boys. While talking to the president, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu cleverly dodged a request from Trump to give him an endorsement on live television. Do you think Sleepy Joe could have made this deal, baby? Sleepy Joe. Well, Mr. President, one thing I can tell you is um, uh, we appreciate the help for peace from anyone in America, and we appreciate what you've done enormously. Yeah. For those of you who aren't savvy, that's political speak for Shalom, bitch. Everyone is focused on the election. Rapper 50 Cent has endorsed Trump, claiming economic reasons. In a related story, doctors have discovered one of the nine bullets he'd been shot with may still be lodged in his brain. Steve Bannon says if he loses in 2020, Trump will just run for president again in 2024, as soon as he figures out a way to run for president from prison. Hey, his VP could be Joe Exotic. Trump stepped outside of his comfort zone recently to do an interview with 60 Minutes, but stormed out abruptly and posted his own copy of the footage because he didn't want to answer tough questions. In his defense, 60 Minutes is a very long time. He's only used to lasting 60 seconds. But no matter what the president does, his incompetence with the virus will be his greatest legacy. Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, has now publicly admitted that the administration is not even trying to contain the virus, just mitigating deaths. It's a solid strategy, agreed Thanos. And that's it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on What You Need to Know.